Uh, so I'm David Chen. I'm a senior test engineer here at the Formula E team. Uh, I worked for a number of Formula One teams over quite a few years. Um, I got into Formula E just at a, at a point in time when my last Formula One team had just gone into administration and a, a friend of mine called me up and asked if I'd be interested in coming in and joining Formula E. To be honest, sort of the most recent treasured memory probably is the very first Formula E race that I that I attended. I'd been given two weeks notice to come along and, and join the team that I was working for at the time. And that happened to be the Buenos Aires race in season one for Formula E. And our team won that race. Um, so I went to the University of Leeds um, and did a PhD in vehicle dynamics there. And that was a that was three years spent doing a lot of number crunching. Uh, what I was trying to do as part of my research was to tie together the results that you get from test driving uh, with what test drivers say, with what uh, computer simulations say, and just bringing that all together. I think in the distant past, I'd say Anthony Davidson stands out as an exceptional test and racing driver that I've worked with before. I've worked with Anthony several years in a row uh, during BAR and Honda days. My loft is full of uh, old team kit and bits of body work that I've acquired. These days I tend to give all my memorabilia to just friends and family. And I think, you know, sort of family, friends, and the kids in particular get much more out of memorabilia than I ever would do. I try to get a bit of mountain biking in. Um, I actually have an allotment as well, if you can believe it. But um, the, the fact that I don't make it down to the allotment tends to cause a lot of stress as well these days too. I think that Mahindra are going to get onto the podium several times, but it's going to be a very hard, very hard slog for us. I think in terms of the other teams, we, we know from Formula e history that it's bound to be you know, it could be just about anybody that finishes the season on top, to be honest. My favorite interesting place is probably Marrakesh. The, the market there is, is, is just sort of one of these almost once in a lifetime experiences for me. There's no individual person, but I think that the, the people that inspire me is when you look at, when you look at sort of just the news every day and you sort of see so-called ordinary people just actually sticking their necks out, saying things, calling out the truth and everything. Those are the people that inspire me because, you know, to be honest, it's, it's, it's easy every day in life to just sort of, you know, scrunch down and, and not do things. But, you know, the people that are inspiring are these people who don't have to do the kinds of things they're doing, but they do it anyways. And halfway through the uh, the sort of Bill Bryson book uh, that he's written recently on, uh, that's called The Body, uh, I think it's called uh, The Body, uh, an Owner's Manual, or something like that. It probably is around just getting the family members around a table eating something that you know that that we like to have it could be sort of asian hot pots to swiss fondues things like that